Were you one of the ones who got rid of your entire Doctor Who video collection? Not me. <laughs> I kept hold of every single one. And I could tell you where I've actually purchased every single individual video. Ask me what I did yesterday. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> but I can tell you exactly where I was when I bought every single uh, one of my Doctor Who videos, the full collection. And I'd never get rid of them. Uh, <laughs> Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke, also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. So I was, I was, you know, after um, looking at those, <laughs> the, the cover for um, for Doctor Who and the Daleks in colour, as well as the Celestial Toy Maker, I thought I'd, um, I thought I'd check out um, how, you know, how my Doctor Who video collection as an investment, is doing by checking Evil Bay. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if it is doing that well. But stick around because there is a mass. If you're into your um, Doctor Who videos or you're trying to restart the collection, there is a massive bargain right at the end of the video on Evil Bay. It is a, it is a proper bargain. And you need to, there's, there's one bidder. And you need to get in there quick if you if you want to pick up <laughs> pick up this bargain. I'm tempted myself, but um, yeah, I need to. <laughs> I need to. I can't be adding to my video collection because I've got them all. But um, these are just different variations of of the same video that I've got. So hang around and pick yourself up a bargain. But you haven't got long. But <laughs> but let's uh, let's start with uh, time and the Rani. 1987. Now this, uh, this, it's not the best story in the world, but it does, uh, it does mean a lot to me. One pound fifty. <laughs> Let your eyes be a guide. So let's, <laughs> so let's move on. Let's move on to Revenge of the Cybermen. So this is one of the, um, this is one of the original um, BBC releases, without the, um, the was it universe the U the un Universal, the Universal Triangle. Um, certificate um so i i don't own this i i my first video was revenge of the cybermen i say mine it was my brother's i tricked my parents into buying it for him for his birthday <laughs> but i've i've got it so it's got the blue sticker but it does have the you know the, the the u um certificate on there so this this is um this is an earlier version 45 pounds now that's um you know, I mean, I, I don't own this. I, would, would I would I like this added to my collection? Yeah, I would, but I just don't have the room. I've got all my Doctor Who videos on um, on bookcases in my toy room. Um, I know a lot of people have them in boxes in the loft if they've still kept them, but mine are on shelves because it took me so long to build up the, the actual collection from from the start back in the. Uh, um, I think it was like the late late eight, 86, I think, was the first time. Or it might have been 85. 86, I think, was the first video VHS I got. Um, yeah, so I'd like this because I've got, I've got quite a few different versions of Revenge of the Cybermen. But um, I just don't have the room at the moment. This is, yeah, this is the version I've got with the, uh, with the Universal Certificate. So £45 for the uh, original release. And uh, this version, I think, I think it still, um, I think it's, I think it still holds its value because I, I, I would have, or my parents would have paid nine pounds ninety nine for it. So fifteen pounds. That's a, <laughs> that's not, that's not bad. I, I don't think that's bad for for a return on um, a video from the eighties. And, and when I say I, I have all my videos, I do still have my original video recorder. Well, I've actually got two Sony. You know, you got you got you got to buy the best. So although I don't I don't watch these anymore because why why would I? I've got the Blu-rays, I've got the uh, DVDs, I've I've also got BBC iPlayer. So why would I watch these? But I I I, I love them. I I love these uh these videos, and I I especially I I I love the way um because it was such a long um long going around the houses to get the full collection. It took years, it took decades. I just love how the um, covers have changed over the years. Trial of a Time Lord, one of my favourite box sets. Um, 
there's a lot of um on 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 evil bay anyway there's a lot of battered versions and you see it at car boot sales as well where the tardis is actually um gone rusty this one's 699 um but it's in really poor condition and the thing is you'd only buy this um to possibly go on display or or go on your dvd your dvd blu-ray shelf just as a as a novelty i i mean i love this tardis um Tardy set, and I I remember I bought my I bought my one in Woolworths in Edmonton Green. Uh, I think it was 30, it was either thirty or thirty five pounds, like thirty four ninety nine. But um, there was also a video shop in Liverpool Street, which my dad used to go past um, on his way to work, and they they were selling it uh, like maybe a couple of years later for nine ninety nine. So I bought another another couple <laughs> as an investment. So there. They're in the loft in in perfect condition. Now the uh, the the Doctor Who the Time Lord uh, collection limited, <laughs> limited limited edition. I remember buying this in W H Smith's in Cheson in Hertfordshire. I think it was it was either twenty nine ninety nine. I mean I had all the videos already, but it was either twenty nine ninety nine or it was thirty five pounds, something like that. And. Um, yeah, I mean it's. I I like it. I I I I like a box set. I'm a <laughs> I'm a sucker. Like, I'm a sucker for nostalgia, and I'm a sucker for a for a box set. Yeah, so two thousand and two. Yeah, I I do, I do remember buying this because we were coming we were coming towards the end of the VHS videos. So they were. I think two thousand and three. The uh, the anniversary year was the last, the last time the last video was it the reign of terror i think but yeah i mean um 9.99 for that tomb of the cybermen i remember when this came out i love the cover so much it's such a wonderful cover and i remember um, i remember it um uh it appeared in a in a video shop in um, el dorado on bbc one but you know when this was discovered and then released on video so quickly with such a wonderful cover and the, the kind of silver foil spine Tomb of the Cybermen just blew me away. So I'm a big fan of that. Uh, and this is so this is the Five Doctors. So I love the Five Doctors, and my cousin th this original this is one of the original releases. This was tw this was I remember seeing it in Doctor Who magazine back in the eighties, twenty four ninety nine. That was big big money back then. And um, my cousin, my older cousin, who's Actually, the same age as Doctor Who. He was born on the 23rd of November, 1963. He lent me... Um, I, was, I was really young, but he, he actually lent me his copy. So I used to um, I, I used to watch it. I, I must have had it in my house for, for, for over a year. And this would have been in like probably 1986, 87, when I first got my video recorder, when my dad bought one. And, um, and I still had it um, in... Up until they um, re-released re it um, on BBC Video, and I could buy it for nine ninety nine. So this is forty nine pound ninety nine, which I I've got to be honest, I think that's a decent price. I've I've got that. I think I paid like fifteen pounds on eBay years ago for it in top quality condition. This is the Reign of Terror uh, box set. I think this was the last. I think it was one of the last uh, Doctor Who videos. I can't remember for sure. It's like a, it was. Um, yeah, fortieth anniversary twin pack. I'm sure it was, or was it the um, invasion of the dinosaurs? I'll have to I'll have to check. But I remember buying that twenty four ninety nine. Um, I'm sure you can get it cheaper than that. But what I liked about it because it was the fortieth anniversary, and what a beautiful logo! I love that logo so much with the forty made into the you know made out of the who letters. I think that's great. Um, and I've still got all my bits and pieces in there. But I yeah I just love box sets, <laughs> so when they when they released this I, I thought it was great, although I don't have it um, I don't think I don't have on my on my actual um, bookcase where all my videos are twenty four ninety nine I don't have the box sets out I have the videos taken out of the boxes and kind of put in the right order, so <laughs> so, so the actual boxes are in the loft nice and safe. The Dalek box set, which contained the Chase and Remembrance, that was another one I bought in. 
I think it was in Woolworths in Edmonton Green. I think it was thirty, thirty-five pounds. And um, again, I I bought it in um bought it in Woolworths, but then my dad in that video shop in Liverpool Street. That's that's ten ninety nine. And this is like mint condition apparently, and this does look really good. But in that video shop um, in Liverpool Street, they sell, they sold everything. Again, they were selling um, like the Trial of a Time Lord Tardis. They were selling this box set for nine ninety nine, like a couple of years later. So I got my dad to pick me up another couple, and they went in the loft. And the, <laughs> the weird thing is, I suppose I bought them as an investment, so they're all like well protected, and and you could say that they are in mint condition, never played with. But um. Yeah, I mean, ten ninety nine. It's not. <laughs> what's that? Ninety nine p profit. And the thing is, I don't think I'd sell them anyway. <laughs> but again, yeah, the um, the actual um, tins. I do, I do have them out, but I have the um, the actual. I know they're the cardboard American style sleeves that were in were in the tin. But I've you know I've I've just got the individual cardboard videos. On display, although my TARDIS Trial of a Time Lord box set that is because it's all one story that is actually on the shelf. It look it looks quite good. Now uh, Doctor Who the movie, apparently it's got its uh, haters and its knockers. I I absolutely loved it when it was on on telly. Uh, was it Easter nineteen ninety six? I think was it Easter or was it May Bank Holiday? I can't remember. And I remember the video came out like the week after. And just blew me away. I mean, it absolutely blew me away. I love the cover. Um, I got mine in W. H. Smith's in Enfield Town. Um, yeah, blew, blew me away. I, again, like Tomb of the Cybermen, I love the silver kind of foil Doctor Who logo. My only, um, I think my only issue with, with that video is on the spine. The TARDIS, <laughs> the, the TARDIS is wrong. It's it's. It doesn't have all the squares. <laughs> yeah, and I remember I remember seeing that. I thought, oh, that TARDIS just doesn't look right. It just looks, you know, just didn't look right at all. But, you know, apart from that, great. Thirty nine ninety nine though, I think that's a bit of a high price. You can get this McGann video cheaper, but I don't know what, there's, there's quite a few high prices on there. Um, the Invasion. So this is the Australian version, signed by um, the Brigadier. I, now I've I've met Nicholas Courtney, lovely guy. He, a, a, a true gentleman. So I've 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 met him and and had a sign in. By him, but this is um this is an Australian version, hundred and sixty pounds. Let your eyes be a guide. I've got no interest in Australian videos. American, I've got a few. <laughs> I've got a few Doctor Who, American VHS, that I that I would buy in um, Virgin Megastore downtown disney in orlando so i've got a few but then this is the invasion version that i that i got but i um in 1993 i was a youth trainee so i didn't have the cash to splash so i missed out on a lot of uh videos especially the uh double box sets so i remember buying that um uh years later at, um it was a toy f it was like a toy fair the Chesant Toy Fair, run by Showmasters, £35 <laughs> I paid for that. And um, that was the going rate for that particular um, video. Like Sh Sharda was the same. Um, I think the Daemons as well was 35 quid. So I wanted to complete my collection. But yeah, I, you know, obviously <laughs> DVD started coming out. And uh, yeah, it didn't really... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a great investment, but I didn't buy it as an investment. I bought it because I loved it. The Brain of Morbius. So this is the original. I think this is, is this the original version? And again, I've got this, which I, um, yeah, I picked this up on, on Evil Bay. Because you can get bargains on Evil Bay. You just got to be looking at the right time. I think I paid about £6 for it. I think I just got lucky because no one else was looking at VHSs, which, which is probably... Um, very similar to, <laughs> to today. I mean, you'll notice that a lot of the, a lot of the videos on Evil Bay, there's no bids on there because people aren't interested. This is another Australian version of the uh, Five Doctors. Um, I'd be interested in this because I, I just love the cover so much and I love the logo. I wish more Doctor Who videos had had the 
80s Peter Davison logo. But yeah, I, I mean, I'd be interested in this, but not really that interested in Australian VHS. And um, yeah, thirty nine ninety nine. It's not a bad price if uh, you know if 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 you wanted this to complete your collection. But um, if if you know, it's it's a great cover, but I'd. For for fifty quid, I'd go for the the UK version. You know, let your eyes be your guide. I mean, you know, stick to stick to the original. I mean, because this is this isn't being um, this isn't coming from Australia. It's an Australian version, but it's um, being sold in the UK. So, uh, you know, oh here's a, here's another UK version. Um, again with the blue the blue sticker on on the tape. So this is what I've what, the version that I've got, but yeah, I mean the the prices. I mean I th I think I got a good deal when I got it on, off Evil Bay, but the prices are, are all up and down because <laughs> you you've really got to kind of um, look properly. I mean this one is going for two hundred two hundred and seventy nine ninety nine. Now I've got no idea where the guy gets that price from. I mean it's just uh, unbelievable. Brain of Morbius again. Um, one of the original releases. Um, this, this. I mean, again, as I said, a lot of the prices are are kind of um up and down. This one's seventy nine pounds. So I don't know. I, I I don't know where they actually get the prices from. I think they make them up as they go along. If it's a rare video, um, is it worth eighty pounds? Do you know what it might be? It it might be. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Talons of Wen Chiang. This, this is an interesting um, video cover, and I'd be interested. I'd be interested in this uh, particular video because the cover. I, I think the cover is amazing. It's, it's just a wonderful photograph. But two thousand, two thousand pounds. I think the guy is probably looking for someone to contact him and make a, yeah, make a suitable offer. I don't think he really means it's two thousand pounds. No, you know, if you've got any experience on eBay, you know the score. Um, I don't know. Um, see, again, it depends how rare it is. I, I don't know. I don't know how rare it is in, in Australia. But um, so you'd have to do your homework. But I, I don't think I'd pay more than a hundred pounds for it. Now here is this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. This is the bargain. If you're into your Doctor Who VHS, this is the bargain of the uh, the century. I mean, these are um, really early Doctor Who videos. So you've, you've got the Five Doctors, you've got the Brain of Morbius, you've got the Robots of Death. So the Robots of Death does act, does have the, um, the the classification, the Universal um, on there. But this this um, <laughs> I mean, I I, I just spotted this when i was making this uh this video but these these are really really rare videos um i mean they were they were probably well i imagine that they were like 24 well see i know i remember the um, five doctors was 24.99 because i saw it in doctor who magazine so i'm assuming that these were 24.99 as well back in the day Although I don't know, I mean, one of the um, well, one of the rarest uh, Doctor Who videos is um, is Revenge of the Cybermen with uh, with with the wrong um, fourth Doctor on it, the wrong Doctor Who logo, and also the, <laughs> the wrong Cybermen. So that's the, that was the first ever Doctor Who release, and that is um, and that is the rarest Doctor Who video. Of all time, and again, I own now. I I managed to pick up a copy of uh, Evil Bay, but this is this is the bargain of the century. Four pound ninety nine, one bid, and it's only got um, it's only got hours to go. So if you know, uh, yeah, I was tempted, but I just I I don't have the room at the moment. I've I've got I've got to make some changes to my t toy room. So maybe maybe in the future, but yeah, if you if you're into your your uh, your Doctor Who videos and you're looking for a bargain. Make this make this guy make this guy a serious bid. I mean, I'd you know it's I've it's it's. I mean, you're getting six videos. It's definitely worth 
putting a fifty pound punt on there and and see where it goes. But only there's there's only one there's only one bidder. Um, yeah, I am tempted, but I'm I'm on this occasion, I'm out. But you know, I I'm not sure. Have it has my has my Doctor Who video um, collection. Have I made a good investment? I <laughs> I, I think the evidence is quite clear. Um, I haven't. Uh, Will videos ever make a comeback? I don't think so. Only from a nostalgia point of view, I, I could see people wanting them on their uh, on their sh- on their shelves with all their ret- retro bits and pieces. But as you know, as a um, as, su- as something to watch in the future, nah, no one's ever going to do that again because it's different than vinyl records. It's a it's a it's a completely different. Um, a completely different world, different format. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know you care. It also helps the channel. And if you are going to have a bid, let me know how you did and if you won. And until the next one, I'll see you then. <laughs>